Hmm. Hypothetically speaking, how many sketches do you think it would take to fill this whole table? Actually, I don't know why I said hypothetically. That's exactly what we're going to find out in today's episode. Also, there's nothing in this. I felt like it would just look more interesting if I was holding something while I did this, but... Anyway, gotta get set up. Roll the opening banner. Since doing the Inktober in a Day videos, I've been trying to come up with a fun challenge that I could do with traditional art. And a bunch of people have said in the comments that they really like when I've been showing my warm-up sketches at the beginnings of my videos. So I thought, why not do a video that's pretty much all warm-up sketches? I have no idea how long this is gonna take. Maybe it'll take five hours, maybe it'll take 12 hours, maybe I'll have to do it over two days. I don't know. I guess it'll depend how big the sketches are gonna be, but no way to know until we get started. So, I definitely should have used bigger paper for this. If I'd gotten Bristol board, it would have taken a lot less time. But, it's done now, so let's get into it. I don't, I don't know where to start. Should I start in the middle, or should I start in the outsides? Maybe the, hmm. Gotta pull this out from the wall a bit too. Okay. Oh, I spilled those. Now, early on, I've given myself a rule, and that's that any pop culture character I draw, I can't draw them a second time. No exceptions. So, right off the bat, I use up my Superman drawing, a couple X-Men characters, Wolverine and Cyclops. Some of these sketches are vague enough that they could be any character, but I think this will at least keep me from repeating myself too, too much over the course of this video. I think I'm gonna have to do slightly bigger sketches if I wanna get this whole thing done in a reasonable amount of time. And I wonder, I wonder how many of these pens I'm gonna go through today. Let's we'll see. Now the stuff I'm drawing early on is my usual go-to stuff to draw when I'm warming up if I don't know what I'm gonna be drawing that day. If I know I'm gonna be drawing Star Wars characters, I'll warm up drawing some Star Wars stuff. But for this, it's just kind of a bunch of random heads. Some of them are specific characters, but some of them are just random characters. And then a whole bunch of poses, not rendering out the details too much, just getting a nice pose in there. And then creature heads, but also trying to do some full creatures like that wyvern I drew earlier. And you can also start to see that I'm doing some bigger sketches, like that lizard creature head is a little bit bigger. I draw a spider Gwen head that's a bit bigger. I'm probably gonna fluctuate between smaller and bigger stuff a little bit. I want to keep it kind of small because I want to do a lot of sketches, but I also don't want this to become so tedious that I hate doing it. It's a challenge, but it's supposed to be a fun challenge. So still working, but Ollie came to pick up his tripod. How long, how long do you think this is gonna take me? Uh, I'm gonna guess two hours. Two hours? That took one hour. That took one hour? Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> More bleeping. <laughs> oh shit, no, I didn't do that. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, Ollie and I did a video together last week and all of the music in it is his own original music. He's an awesome musician. I'll link that video in the pinned comment because it's a good fun one, maybe to watch after this. But anyway, you can see I've moved over to the other side of the sketches I was doing, kind of filling out this side of the table. And in this batch, I draw what I consider to be one of the most horrifying drawings of this whole video. And that's this Alolan Raichu right here. I really did not like how it turned out. Kill me. At that point, I switched over to the next side of the table and that was when I realized that a bunch of these drawings were gonna be facing in different directions depending on where I was when I was drawing them. It would have been nice if I could have had them all facing the same way, but then I would have had to be lying on the table to draw some of them, so it just wasn't gonna work out. I also, at this point, started to run out of some ideas of what to draw, so I pulled out my iPad and just started searching some things and figured, hey, maybe I'll take this opportunity to draw some stuff that I wouldn't normally draw. All right, it's coming along slowly, but surely two hours in and I've covered about, what is this, like, maybe a fifth of it. So overall, it'll take about 10 hours or so. That's a pretty reasonable amount of time. I was trying to watch Avengers Endgame in the background, but that's really the kind of movie you have to pay attention to, so that was kind of a bad idea. But it is nice that the Disney streaming service came out so I can watch that in the background while I work. All right, everybody, are you ready? This is the definitive test to see if the Disney streaming service is worth buying. Yep, it's worth it. 
Inspired by The Emperor's New Groove, I had to draw some characters from that. I love that movie so much. I, I don't know if it's considered a classic Disney movie, but I refer to it as one of my favorite classic Disney movies. Anyway, for this sheet, I was still drawing lots of superhero stuff and heads, but I was starting to run out of ideas of superheroes to draw. I finally drew a Spider-Man character on here. It was intended to be Miles Morales, but really, at the size I drew it, it could kind of be any of them. But then onto the next sheet, I really started branching out a little bit more, and that was not an intended pun, but you can see one of the first things I drew on this sheet was a tree, and then I started drawing, I drew a Ninja Turtles head, and some weird robots, and then started doing some close-ups of limbs, I drew a Spider-Man hand, and then I end up drawing a T-Rex on here as well that I really like. The next sheet brought me back a little bit more to more superhero stuff, but you can see I still did some other kinds of things. I did a bit of a small handheld blunder buster kind of gun, and then I did this sort of tentacle thing, and then some sort of ice shard blast or whatever. Some rock guy that I don't really know what he is, he just kind of came to mind and I drew him. And then a Hulk smash kind of jump that I really like the result of that as well. And with that, I've reached the end of this side of the table. And I'm still really enjoying the process, even though I've got more than half to go still, I'm pretty excited to keep going. <sighs> okay, so I've done not quite half of it yet. I'd say a little bit shy of half, and I've been going for about four and a half hours, so that's pretty good time. So far, I'd say probably two of my favorite things are right next to each other. These two. This face was heavily inspired by some art by Keenan Lafferty, who has a YouTube channel called KNKL. It's really awesome. I've learned a lot of great stuff from him. I'll link it in the description. And then this tree was very inspired by some of Derek Laufman's drawings. I've talked about him a bunch of times. He's a huge inspiration of mine. I'll link his Instagram again as well. But yeah, really like how those two turned out. Gonna get up, do a bit more stretching, then jump in again. Now this next sheet is easily my favorite I've done so far. I just love how so many of the sketches turned out. Those first two heads I really like. That fairy character is different sort of proportions from what I'd normally do. She's a little bit more regular comic proportions. And I really like that. I like that creature head. That ship is kind of cool. I do a scorpion drawing that I kind of like. I really like this Joker drawing as well. And I just like the density of all the drawings. Over that sheet and this next area, I was feeling a bit more confident with how much time this was going to take. So I started drawing things a little bit more densely compact. I started doing some smaller drawings again. And unlike with the Inktober video where I started getting stressed near the end that I was not going to be able to finish, which I didn't. With this, that wasn't really a concern, so I just stayed confident, stayed happy, was going with the flow, and just did a whole bunch of drawings that I really, really liked. And what's nice is this is definitely giving me ideas for stuff I can draw fully rendered in the near future. There were a few minor complications while working on these drawings, partially the paper having creases between where one page meets the next. That's another reason I probably should have gone with a couple larger sheets of paper. I couldn't really decide at some places whether I should draw characters on the creases or not. It was kind of hard to do smooth lines while going from one page to the next, but I thought it looked better and made the whole table feel like one continuous thing when there were drawings on the creases and it wasn't all split up by pages. And then another issue was just that on the table I'm working on, there are two sections where these beveled kind of metal slats that turn into the legs and those parts dip out a little bit. So whenever I got to a part where I was drawing over that, it kind of made the drawing a little bit awkward at times. I think I managed to avoid making any of them look too awkward from that, but it was a little bit of a pain at some points. But these are all really minor complaints. Overall, I was genuinely having a blast with this. <laughs> I might even want to do this again. Of course, wouldn't want to repeat myself too much. I'd have to come up with another kind of gimmick for it. Well, all right, about seven or eight hours in and we've got the border all finished. So there's only about three sheets left. It's all the, the middle stuff and I think I'm gonna turn in for the night and pick this up tomorrow morning. Hopefully having a little time to rest will give my mind some time to reset and I'll be able to think of some new stuff to draw. So, I'll see you all in the morning. Back to it.
And just like that, we were into the home stretch, the last three sheets. And going into this, I was a little bit concerned that this was gonna be a less flattering page because it was genuinely a page of warm-up sketches at first. I hadn't drawn anything else today. But I actually really like how a bunch of this turned out. I started on this theme of having a bunch of stuff going to the left. I didn't stick to that for too long, but I kind of like how that turned out. Just a bunch of things moving in that direction. We've got the ships, we've got a guy doing some stretches, we've got a rough-ish drawing of One Punch Man and Mjolnir, and a bunch of that just looked really cool. And like yesterday when I started feeling confident that I was gonna get this done at a decent speed, I started doing the drawings a lot more compact, just a lot more drawings per square foot, sheet, how, however you wanna say it. And so lots of these were just turning out really cool. I was trying to stay branched out a little bit. I did some sort of explosion drawings, some weapons. I drew in some random shapes and then just tried to make something out of them, like that weird gloppy face. Did a close up of a Laura Kinney Wolverine hand because I kind of liked how I'd done that with Spider-Man's hand close up yesterday. And I was admittedly still having a hard time trying to think of stuff to draw that I hadn't already drawn. And there were some spots where I did stuff that felt a little bit lazy, like just some vines or whatever. But overall it was fun, it felt good, and well, I ended up getting through it all. After I did those sheets, I stood up, looked around, and drew in some spots that I thought I'd left slightly too big gaps, just so it looked a little bit more filled out. But with that, I finally finished filling this entire table with sketches. whole lot of sketches, and I guess I did technically call this video something along the lines of how many sketches will it take to fill a table, so I guess I should probably count them now. But the upside of that is that I can get my friends to guess how many sketches there are. How many do you think? I really have no idea, like 150? I don't know, let's find out. This is my friend Taylor. Quite on set. All right, Taylor, how many do you think? 260. Okay, uh, who's next? Yeah. Cal? I'm gonna say... This is the one that I drew in that video that one time. Uh, I'm gonna say 108. 108? Yeah. I'm gonna go in between 140. 140? Yeah, 150. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jordan? saying 173. Oh. 173? 250. Terry? 250. Yeah. Taylor was closest, it's 256. Oh. Yeah! What? I was like four off? Yeah. Well, turns out I was off by quite a bit. 256 sketches, also roughly 10 hours. And I gotta say, that was a lot of fun. Felt like I got to practice some stuff that I wouldn't normally draw, and I got to draw a whole bunch of fun faces. But that's all for this episode. I'm Christian Pearson. If you want another episode like this, my attempting Inktober in a day videos are kind of similar-ish to this one, or the video I did with Ollie where he and I were doing some sketching and then I inked and colored one of his drawings. And that video is all music from him. He's a great musician, so that's a great one to check out as well. I'll put both of those in the pinned comments. But besides that, that's all for this episode. This is Popcross Studios, home of the Nerdy Start videos on YouTube. I put out videos every Monday and Saturday, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.